In this video, we'll show you how to install a pre-configured FMC150 tracker with ECAN02 adapter in an Iveco vehicle. You will need a digital multimeter, a wire stripper and cutting pliers, wrenches and socket sets, lever connectors, crimping tool, and of course, FMC150 and ECAN02 devices. Before you begin, make sure the ignition is off and all safety precautions are followed. Follow the connection diagram for the FMC150 device. Our support team can generate it for you upon request through Help Desk. It includes installation steps, troubleshooting details, and most importantly, the connection points for the CAN bus and available power sources. Start by locating the CAN wires in the vehicle. In Iveco daily models, the CAN bus connection points are typically found under the passenger side cover, beneath the steering wheel, or behind the dashboard. But in the 2024 Iveco daily MK6 Facelift 3, the correct connection point for the FMC150 is the CAN wiring inside the dashboard harness. To access it, remove the dashboard cover, then the dashboard itself. Disconnect the main dashboard connector and identify the CAN wires. In this vehicle, white corresponds to CAN high and orange to CAN low. We will start by connecting ECAN02 adapter. It allows reading vehicle CAN bus data without cutting wires. Remove the cover of the ECAN02 adapter. Before attaching it, carefully strip the wire insulation as needed. Accordingly, place the wires into the ECAN02 grooves, making sure they fit securely. Stick cables to the electrical tape to prevent any movement and close the casing. Connect ECAN02 with the tracker using the provided cable. Use a pry tool to open the vehicle's panel under the steering wheel. As we've mounted ECAN02 under the speedometer, you will now need to carefully route the connected cable under the steering wheel. You'll receive FMC150 with an input-output power supply cable. You will need to prepare the cable using a wire stripper. Strip the CAN wire ends and connect the ECAN02's CAN high and CAN low wires to the corresponding CAN input lines of the FMC150 with lever connectors for a secure attachment. On the FMC150 cable, the brown wire with a white stripe is CAN high and the solid brown wire is CAN low. On the ECAN02 side, the blue wire with a white stripe is CAN high and the solid blue wire is CAN low. Using a multimeter, find a slot in the fuse box with constant power to ensure uninterrupted device operation. Connect the negative probe to the vehicle frame, which serves as ground, and touch the positive probe to a circuit point reading around 12 volts with the ignition off. The fuse adapter must be installed securely and in the correct orientation to guarantee proper contact with the fuse terminals. Prepare the power and ground cables using a wire stripper. Connect the red power wires from both the ECAN02 adapter and the FMC150 tracker. They must be connected to a constant 12 or 24 volt power source in this case, to the fuse adapter we just installed. Secure connection with crimping tool. Then connect the black wires from both devices to a stable grounding point on the vehicle chassis. Use lever connectors and make sure all connections are secure and properly insulated to prevent short circuits or poor contact.
Now the FMC150 can be connected. Once powered, the FMC150 LEDs will begin blinking, indicating that the device has booted up and that GNSS and GSM signals are available. Next, turn the vehicle's ignition on to activate CAN communication on the vehicle's network. When CAN traffic is detected, ECAN02 LED should turn on, confirming that both power and data communication are working correctly. Now, connect the FMC150 to a computer using USB or Bluetooth and open the Teltonica configurator. In the Status CAN Adapter section, you can observe the auto-scan process in progress. Once the device successfully creates a fingerprint file from the detected CAN data, it automatically connects to the photo web platform and downloads the appropriate OEM file. After the download and installation are complete, the live data window will display all available CAN parameters, including vehicle speed, engine RPM, fuel level, and more. If these values update dynamically while the engine is running, it confirms that the installation and CAN communication have been completed successfully. After confirming that data is being received, securely mount the device to ensure it remains stable during vehicle operation. Make sure the GNSS antenna is oriented upwards for optimal signal reception. Once everything is in place, close all panels securely. The installation of ECAN02 adapter with FMC150 tracker in Iveco vehicle is now completed.